on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel thank you for tuning in today we're going to be doing custom uh well i ain't gonna say custom i'm gonna say we're gonna be potter coating some valve springs not valve springs valve covers um shout out to fez because i got these from fez so he had these like a ruby because i already started stripping this side before i even like recorded it but this the color was it like a translucent color so it's like a, I don't know, I want to say a ruby red. I forgot what color he said it was, but. And this is after I sand it down. Now, so if you want to do this, you want to probably, probably coat your own stuff, I would recommend you you, sand, you get a sandblast so you know somebody, or you got a sandblast to sandblast it and then powder coat it. I already kind of, I don't really have a spot to spray this because I sprayed the cups in this right here. But this. Um, if I start doing these with people or whatever, I'm gonna have to build something or get something made to have, to be able to hold the rack right here. So this is the rack for the oven right there. Um, what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven on, obviously. All right, so I got this all um, cleaned up. Uh, like I said, just use soap and water. Once this oven is warmed up, I got it turned up to about 450, 400. I'm gonna take the valve covers, that valve cover, and I'm gonna put it inside the oven. I'm gonna put it in there for about probably 10, 15 minutes to outgas it. And that's just to get like any little like oils or anything from my hand and all that stuff that's on the valve covers. All that stuff is gonna come off once. So I guess this is like a, I guess a life update, I don't know. But the number one X thing is about the GA and about camming it. And I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna show y'all. Everything is here behind my little curtain. Everything is here. Here's the cam right here. Um, there's a Titan 2. Here's everything else. All the supported mice, everything. Uh, the converters down here. And all the bolts and gaskets. All that stuff is sitting right here. The stuff for the tune to do the tuner for the fuel. The oil pump. All that stuff is in the back. So I don't know if Fez is gonna watch this video, but shout out to Fez because Fez gave me a new one. Uh, this look better than, <laughs> this look way better than the one I got on there. Fez gave me a new harmonic balancer also to go along with everything. So the one I got is all, it's wobbling and it's all, it all, looks all rusted and all that stuff. So I, I'm almost to like 2000 subscribers now and I'm supposed to do it at a thousand. Well, the fact is, the fact of the matter is, it's just like, um, I think I made a video. I think, yeah, I think I made a video a while back, about a month or two ago kind of giving an uh, update on what's going on in my life. But I think I scrapped that video because I didn't want anybody to feel bad for me or anything like that. Or I didn't want nobody to feel like I was begging or anything because I work hard. I work hard for everything that we have and for every, all the things I do, extra activities that I do. Um, I work hard. So I go out almost every single day detailing cars or whatever. And that's a learning experience. So I think I had scrapped that video. I, I decided not to make it at all. But if you don't know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, if you watched me from the beginning, you know that you probably have remember that I was working in the oil field. So it's been about seven or eight months or so since I actually like clocked in for for uh, like work work. Um, so about seven, eight months ago, I got laid off from the oil field, which is unexpected. But luckily for me, I already had money saved and stuff like that. And then, so what I did with that, with the money I had saved and then like the last couple of checks, I just went ahead and bought like more equipment for the detailing stuff. So that's when I started taking the detailing stuff more serious. And I got me a compressor for the, for the, for the um, powder coating and all that good stuff. So, um, but yeah, I, I'll show y'all a couple of clips and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find some of what I was doing in the oil field. I was a, uh, it, I guess I was an operator. I was a, I was a solids control hand. So I operated the excavator, forklift, and all that stuff. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I did uh, for that specific job. Um, that probably, I mean, if people in for my birthday on the fifth, they finally sent us an email telling us what they called, and then sent the email and a letter letting us know that hey, we are officially cutting y'all off. Since the layoff, it kind of slowed things down. Then I got laid off, and then after that, I bought that. <laughs> I bought the house, so that for sure, that for sure slowed everything down, like money-wise. 
um, the layoff and then buying the house and stuff like that. But I mean, since I got there's there's some positive things that came out of getting laid off. Um, since I was laid off, I was able to start growing the channel more and more. The channel started growing faster after I got laid off. Um, I was able to make more content and all that stuff. Um, I was able to work on my businesses and stuff, work on my detailing stuff. And then the the most, the best thing that came out of it is that I got to spend more time with my daughter and fiance and stuff. So um, before I had just like a week or a couple of days to spend and then I'll go right back to work for two weeks and then I come back for a week. And then sometimes I was going for a little longer than a week, maybe two and a half weeks. Even though I would leave work sometimes right when I got off at five in the morning, come over here, work on some stuff, spend some time and then go back to work for 5 p.m. or to get there for 6 p.m. to start my night shift. Um, I did that a couple of times and then sometimes I had to slow down because I was almost falling asleep while um, driving. I've been doing like little side jobs here and there. Um, I've been doing my detailing stuff and kind of just making money where I could make money at. Um, luckily, I did save a good bit of money up and stuff when I was working in the oil field. So I guess you could say I had a little bit of stuff, something to show from working out there for about three years until I can get the detail and stuff and the um, eye rich creations and the non-toxic teas and all that until we can get that to where it pays. It pays for itself, the businesses, but it, we, we not really making any money from it. So until we can get those to where we can, I guess, put ourselves on like a salary or something to where it pays us and pays for itself and we can save money from it, then, you know, I'm gonna continue to always try to have like a full-time job. The reason why it's been taking so long to cam the G8 is because honestly, uh, getting laid off and then buying a house, that put like a hold on a lot of things. Let's get back to powder coated. That was just a quick little life update giving y'all you know just let y'all know what's going on so let's go ahead and finish this up all right so to test out this new oven i'm gonna go ahead and put this in here to outgas it so i'm gonna let me say this the way that i'm doing things with the powder coating is my own personal stuff i wouldn't do it this way for somebody else um, if i was doing their stuff i would recommend people to do it the way that i'm doing it well some of the stuff but um I'm gonna put this in here right quick. I probably should move this to the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in there right quick. I'm gonna keep checking it. I'm gonna keep checking it and see how fast does it take for it to hit 400 degrees. It's the, the metal. How fast does it take for the valve cover to hit 400 degrees? And if it goes over 400 degrees, that, that tells me if it goes over 400 degrees, that means I need to turn it down to about 350 or whatever. And plus, I even have a, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I have an extra powder coating machine. And it's the uh, the one that I've used, the Eastwood Dual Voltage. So if you have a, like a couple of coats, like some of the cups I do have like two or three coats, depending on how many colors I'm doing, um, and it's not sticking or something big, and the powder's not sticking, and you did everything with the ground, you can come over here, and mine is always, I never had to, ch I never have to change it, to be honest. You, you can come over here and you just press the two, and it kind of ups the voltage, I guess, and it's a little bit more, and it's supposed to help the powder stick better. Um, but like I said, I never have to change mine. If I do, I use usually something up with the ground. And I mean, it's a good, like, this is a good starter powder coating gun all right y'all so now that it's it's pretty um it's not as hot because you don't want to spray this when it's hot that's the thing um the, you there's a there's a thing called hot flocking where you put it in the oven you get it hot and then you spray it with powder once you and then for sure when, when you sp start spraying it uh the powder will stick and it'll kind of start turning but it can mess some stuff up so um Try to avoid hot flocking. That's that's what I was told. So, and a lot of times people do it like whenever they can't, whenever the powder's not sticking. And I know it. So let's go ahead and get to spraying this.
now I'm trying to make sure that I hit like every angle um, that I can. So I'm gonna attempt to do this with one hand. So, cause I gotta pull this trigger right here. And then obviously the trigger. So you gotta kinda, with this gun, you gotta kinda give it a little shake to give it a little flow. I mean, that's just how it is. All right, so now that I got it in there, um, like it's just a perfect way to test out my this oven. So last time it took about 300, it took not 300, three minutes for it to reach 400 degrees. Um, and I'm just gonna continue to just keep checking the temperature. It looks like it's kind of turning over, but I'm not really honest. I'm not really sure. Um, in this oven, a little small one, it takes less than, it takes about 40 minutes. Not 40 minutes. It takes about 40 seconds for it to start turning over. So around the 35, 40 mark, it starts turning over into like a, um, I guess you can solid paint into paint basically. So it's not fully cured, and you could tell it's not fully cured by just by if you drop it, it'll flake off or whatever. So and if you take acetone, it'll wipe right off, just like regular paint. So my GoPro is acting acting a little crazy, but. It started to turn over. Y'all can't see. I got it on my phone. I'm still just kind of monitoring the temperature. Um, it's right now. It's about. Um, let's. See. Who's that? It is 336. So give it a little while longer. It should hit the 400 mark, and we should. We'll go ahead and put the timer on for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so it's the next day. Um, and it came out real, it came out good. Look at, look how that light, yep. You can kind of see the sparkle, not the sparkle, whatever, the rainbow effect. Let me put it in this, some sun. So, let me get to the sun. Oh, there we go. Can't really see it on, see it a little bit on camera. It is now. Uh, so I already got the other one, the other valve cover. That one I'm gonna do a little differently because I think, I think this one got a little, a little too hot to where you can see the rainbow effect, but it should be a little bit more noticeable, like when the when the light is hitting. And I say that because, all right, look at this one. Look at my brakes. How off the bat, it don't take much for it to start reflecting. That one kind of takes a, you got to bring it in the sun for it to reflect. So I think what what happened is last same thing with when I had first got this color and I did the cup. Um, what happened is it got too hot. I get that done, hit me up, I'll, I'll give you a price. Um, but that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a, had a good day.